Well, hello, hello, how are you today? Uh, today's vlog is going to be entitled DLA, or Deep Learning Activity. Andy asked me if I would do a vlog posting on this, and I think it's a great idea. And really what I want to get to is what is the purpose of the DLA? If you ponder that for a second, you just need to take one step back and say, what is the purpose of our technical learning competencies? It's ha it is half of the IRE degree, 32 credits out of the 60 in upper division. Well, I've got a proposed answer. My answer is that the purpose of the technical learning is to have at our disposal, when we get into the profession, fundamental principles that we can transfer to use in solving problems, open-ended problems, creating designs for our companies or our clients. So if you, if you say that the biggest goal is to acquire some knowledge that I can use later in another situation. So I like to think of it like this. There are two things then. One is acquire the knowledge to be able to recall it later and use it later. So if that's the purpose of the technical competency, then let's, let's drive forward to the purpose of the deep learning activity. <clears throat> oh wait, it's the same purpose. The purpose of the DLA is to make the technical learning last longer to make it more sticky so that it's more available later. The key word in DLA, well there are three, <laughs> but one of the key words is active. Activity. So Andy's question for me was, what makes a DLA? And my, quest, my answer is, anything that makes it sticky. And for the most part, anything that is active. So does, does doing an ex, designing an experiment and doing an experiment make something memorable? When you, when you go out there into the lab and you put this thing together and, and you have the troubles and the struggles, and then, and then you do it and then you look at how, how does this... The re, how do the results of this activity cement, cr uh, uh, go along with, support the fundamental principles? That makes it sticky. A design makes it sticky. If you're, um, you know, I'm a heat transfer thermal kind of person, so, so I always think this way. But if, if your project were to design a heat exchanger for your client and you were taking heat transfer or even thermal, that act of design, that act of creating something for your client, that's a deep learning activity. It doesn't need to be separate from your project. And in fact, I, I love it when the DLA is not at all separate from the project. That's great double dipping. But what are some other ways to make something sticky, to make a fundamental principle last longer and make it accessible later? Becky's always said she's, she's looking forward to the first time that an IRE student does an interpretive dance as a DLA. And I gotta believe that would be sticky. If you haven't seen the It's All About That H video that was the DLA for several students in Thermal last spring, then you should watch it. That activity for them made it sticky. In fact, I was in an oral exam just yesterday 
and one of the singers from the All About That H video was taking this oral exam and he was trying to remember what uh, what were the different things that constituted enthalpy and he pulled it up. He pulled it up as if it were the, the uh, chorus from his song. It was sticky. It lasted s six months later. How about going on a field trip? Could that be a DLA? Yes, it could. Now, to me, the, going on the field trip isn't enough, but a reflection that goes with it, a reflection that shows how the fundamental principles were connected to what was observed, we call that a DLA report, yes. Reflection is hugely important. Your DLA report should serve as the reflective activity that shows how your activity, how your actions connected to the fundamental principles. That's what this is all about. And I, I want to see the widest variety of experiences that you can have in your 32 DLAs. As wide of a variety as you can have, as creative as you can be, so that 32 competencies worth of fundamental principles are sticky, are available to you later, are transferable from the context that you learned them in at, at IRE to the context where you will use them later. Alrighty, that's it. That's all, folks.